is up guys, Silix here from Tech Labs and in that video I'm gonna be talking specifically about iOS 9.3.3 beta 1 so guys you have asked me to do such kind of a video and talk about the battery performance and my personal opinion about that framework so guys without any further ado let's just go ahead and get started so first of all the battery life so guys I got approximately the same battery life as I got previously on the iOS 8 and you just wouldn't believe me, but I will show you guys the exact statistics which I got from uh, usage of this specific iPhone. But guys, I just cannot believe in it. My iPhone is now having the same battery life as on the iOS 8. It's just so amazing. So let me go ahead and show you guys which statistics did I got from the last usage. So when I hit 1% 1, 1 there, as you can see, I did a screenshot how how many hours or how much time did I spend using this iPhone so right here you see we have a usage time of approximately six hours that's so insane I mean I, I would never think that I would you know, you know feel the same amount of better life like on the iOS 8 it's just so amazing you know the standby times are 12 hours and if we stick those two together the usage and the standby times we get approximately 12 hours it's so shocking guys it's so amazing so now let's move on to the iPhone 5 here and I you know I bought this iPhone used already and it had just a terrible battery in it it lasts maybe two hours not more but right now guys it lasts already like three hours or more and I just feel it you know I um, last time I could leave this iPhone on a table like like this uh, with a full charge and at the end of the day it would be dead already but right now I can leave this phone for one and a half days and as you can see here I got 29% so it actually fixed this battery issue even though this iPhone is used already like for five years and the battery should be replaced it still is doing a really nice job so I'm so impressed guys this is really really awesome so now guys the performance well I haven't seen any performance changes in that particular firmware but I can say that Apple probably did some improvements in here because you know every time they release a new firmware they're trying to make it more stable and improve this in the performance wise but anyway guys I think that this one is already done it is now stable and I just have no regrets updating to this firmware so now let's go ahead and launch Geekbench here and run the processor Geekbench and let's see how much it can score. Okay, so we got 16.28 and 29.25. Let's go back and go to previous bench benchmarks. And here it is probably the iOS 9.3.2, the latest version, the already released version. So let's see how much did we get there. 16.19, 29.19 and here yeah this one is improved guys it's so yeah this is much better now as so it's not much changed in here but still as I said previously the stability maybe and performance is a bit improved I know you cannot just replace the processor or add more RAM but still Apple is doing a really nice job lately especially in that iOS 9.3.3 Okay guys, so the last thing that I want to mention today is that all of these uh, cool hacks or abilities to install paid apps for free, so like Xcedia or this Rabbit Store, or having the movie box or play box here, they are all working. So I have the iOS 9.3.3, I can show it to you right now, like I haven't shown it to you previously, but here, iOS 9.3.3 and the movie box and all that cool stuff is still present here, it still works, so you'll be able to download it with no problem at all. I mean, I have rounded folders still present and it's so awesome. So if you want to update to this firmware, you may consider that all of those things like paid apps for free and the movie box and all that stuff will not be loosed or in that firmware, so you'll be able to download it once again or even, you know, have it on the iPhone without reinstalling. So that's pretty much it guys for today. Now, I want to say thank you to all of you guys that subscribe to my channel, that are currently giving me comments and likes to my videos. I'm so now, I'm so happy guys. We have now reached a huge milestone, which is a thousand subscribers on our channel. That was unbelievable like two months ago or three months ago, but right now, it is the truth, it is the reality. So I'm so happy guys, thank you to all of you. Thank you for all your support and how you care about my videos. Thank you guys. 
So yeah, if you want to check my other videos, they're gonna be annotated later in this video. Thumbs up if you like that video and also please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And yeah guys, this was Alex with you from Tech Labs and I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.